Welcome to day number two of Lose 60 Pounds with Vicky and Sarah in 30 Days. Now, we've got some great news for you guys. Sarah, how much have you lost? Three pounds. Vicky, how much have you lost? Three pounds. Yay! <laughs> so that is six pounds, almost half a stone between you overnight. How do you feel? Fantastic. Uh, yeah, good. Are you impressed? I was surprised by three pounds. All the times I told you it would work. I, I think you're not quite sure, but I think now you're believing me, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Vicky, what time did you get out of A&E yesterday? Oh, I don't know. Seven o'clock-ish. Oh, did you? Okay. Right, that's good. Yeah. You weren't didn't have to have a kick there. Um <laughs> and what so you had your last protein shake last night, Vic. Um uh -huh. did you go to bed hungry or were you okay last night? After the shake I was hungry a bit. And then I had the dream tea, which I didn't think I'd like, but I liked it. Okay. Did and you then I went to sleep, Did you have yeah. some crazy dreams? Because I've heard people have had that after dream tea. No. I didn't continue my dream. For a morning, no. <laughs> uh, she hasn't had a dream that she can possibly share with us on the Zoom video. <laughs> right, Sarah, uh, tell us what yeah. happened last night. You obviously told us in our WhatsApp group, but what happened last night with the husband and going to bed early? <laughs> he decided he was going to have some toast before bed. So the smell of toast was, um, yeah, filling the house. So I went decided to go to bed early to get out the way <laughs> it was yeah very tempting now yesterday you also said you had a headache did that continue last night and again this morning it, yeah i woke up in the night with a headache it, it was overnight and um yeah still had a headache at half past five this morning but i, I did take some paracetamol i gave in and take some par took some paracetamol at half past five and it's gone off and it's not come back today so i'm That's i'm quite great. pleased about that yeah to, but to i've tried honest, to drink a bit more today yeah to be honest with you sarah you actually eat quite healthily don't you <laughs> well i thought i did <laughs> you do yeah so because what happens yeah. is if you you have a really bad diet you have a lot of sugar coffee stuff like that then doing a plan like this you get really bad like symptoms on day number 2 day number 3 but because you're you like you've had a calvary on sunday didn't you because you're having yeah. your and your yeah. meat and stuff then by the time day 1 comes this is why you had quite a fast reaction whereas uh, other people have slower reaction because maybe their system isn't working as fast. So I'm 100% right. sure that is kind of your um, side effects done and it's just going to be plain sailing from now. I hope so. <laughs> right, Vicky, how are you doing? Any flu-like symptoms, any illness, anything to report? Going to the loo a bit. Not, not we in <laughs> We're all friends here. You can share what you want. And I'm on pina colada tea. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now, this is something that Vicky shared with me at the weekend. She, I, I said, me and Sarah had a conversation. Can we drink herbal tea, fruit tea? And I said, yes. Next minute, Vicky pipes up with a pina colada tea. But I've checked the ingredients and it's actually okay. It's actually quite a clean tea. How does it taste, Vic? Yeah, it's all right. It's just water. Yeah. But does it taste and like a pina colada or not? Coconut. Coconut, yeah. Oh, good. We like a bit that of That sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, Vicky first, would you say today was easier than yesterday? A bit easier because I could space out the hours of the day and what I was going to consume yeah yesterday i was all over the place but yeah <clears throat> tomorrow first day back at work so so do you think it's okay. going to be easier at work or harder there'll be no food about tomorrow but then after that yeah i've got to serve food but 
yeah, I think once I got into a week of it, I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Once you get first the, the first few days, it does get a lot easier. Right, Sarah, how was your day two compared to yesterday? I found it a bit harder today. I've been more hungry today, actually. Um, and I'm sitting here now feeling like I'm ready for my, the last shake of the day. But I know I've got to go out and um, do some work this evening. So I'm trying to wait as long as possible yeah. before I have the shake. Yeah, but just I'm only just having my um, I'm only just having my energy fizz stick because I didn't get round to it this morning. Okay. So I'm hoping that'll keep me going <laughs> throughout the evening as well. So the good news is the apple pies that everybody saw the photo of yesterday. There was none of that today. You were actually busy playing <laughs> table tennis today, weren't you? Yeah, table tennis club this morning. Uh, I left about 11 o'clock. That was half nine till 11. And then I've been out this afternoon at a dog training class. And then I'm teaching dog two dog, dog training classes this evening. So it's all now, go today. Now, the thing about dog training, I remember when I uh, have had conversations with the, the leader of the dog training school. And I used to say to her, oh, great. You must get loads of steps in with doing dog training. She's like, no. I just sit there and make the dogs do all the work. <laughs> That's quite true, actually. I'll <laughs> I'll try and get on my feet a bit more tonight. So, yeah, I think change your teaching position for the dogs. Move around the room to different places. <laughs> I think that's the way to get the steps in. Right. Yeah. Have either of you got any questions? No. No, no. Right. I can't wait to go to bed and start again tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to go to bed and wake up in the morning and report in the morning what the weight losses are tomorrow. I'm really excited. But yeah, I promise you <laughs> it will get it easier, especially Vic, when you go back to work. And Sarah, especially when you get on to like day three tomorrow, it will just start to get easier yeah. and you'll get into the routine. OK, good. Wonderful. Right. Well, have a good evening, both of you. I will speak to you tomorrow.